Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. Today I wanted to show you a trumpet that a fellow teacher donated to the band program, but right now it's not in plain condition. So I wanna show you what shape it's in and what we can do to it so we can get it back into the hands of a student that would love to make some music on it. So here's the main trumpet, and you can see that a lot of the issues are cosmetic, and this is because it was sitting out on the porch of the teacher for about 10 years in its case. Most of this is just a surface kind of calcium buildup as well as the lacquer wearing down. Okay, you can see that there are some scratches, but luckily there's actually not that many dents, nothing that isn't repairable. And that's what we're gonna be doing in the next part of this video. So this is a quick look at what needs to be done. Okay, this brace here is broken, so we need to make sure we get that soldered up. You can see how bent this bell is. We'll be able to clean that up. There are a couple dents in this bow here and I need a special tool to be able to get dent balls back there, which I don't have, but those won't affect the playability of the horn too much and a student will still be able to make noise on it. This first valve slide is seized right now. I can't pull it out on my own, so we'll need to make sure to get that unstuck. The second valve slide does come out. It would be easier if I had both hands, but it does come out. You can see the buildup of calcium on that as well. The water corks do need to be replaced. They're a bit thin right now, but they do move luckily. This third slide does move it will be able to come out. So the first step here is actually just to give this trumpet a bath, and that will improve a lot of things. These bottom caps are stuck, which hopefully we'll be able to get unstuck via the bath. But let me show you the valves. This horn is a King 600 uh, from the time when they were in Cleveland, and they made some great horns then. So even after peeing out on a deck, and I haven't touched it, I just picked this horn up today. These valves still appear to be in great shape and they're going to clean up nicely. I already was able to check some of the compression in that second valve, which is pretty telling for the rest of the horn. I think this is going to be a great horn for a student after I get it cleaned up. So let me show you the bath process. And then in the next part after that, we will uh, discuss how to get this back into plain condition. As I draw this bath, the first thing that we'll need is some mild dish soap. And the goal here is to just use enough that it will fill the, the tank of this tub with bubbles as I agitate that there. And this soap will help us get a lot of the buildup that's in this trumpet, because remember this was out on a covered porch for about 10 years. Um, it will break down a lot of the buildup. This is the first brush that we'll be needing to use. It is for the valve casings. And this is a snake that I'll use to get into the lead pipe, the bell tail, uh, and any other parts of the trumpet that need a longer reach. As we prepare to give this trumpet a dunk in this bath, there are a couple parts that shouldn't get wet. And that is the valve caps with felts in them, as well as the corks that are inside of the valves to help with spacing and noise. I'll show you what one of these uh, valve, valve corks looks like right now, and it is a bit brittle, so it broke already without getting wet. Those will obviously need to be replaced, but they're very inexpensive. So the next step with this trumpet is to just let it soak for about 10 minutes. And while that's happening, I will make sure all the valves get added to this bath as well. And then I will be able to clean those with our brush. When I use this brush, the main thing I am trying to accomplish is just brushing out any of the buildup that is inside of here. There really wasn't that much, but as I finish them, I just put them out of the way, make sure to get a clean, good scrubbing in between all of the valve ports and the soap has done its job. Next up is running that snake through as much of the trumpet as I can. So I start from the bell end and push it through to the bell tail 
and I do this a couple times just to make sure that I get this thoroughly cleaned. Then I move on to the lead pipe, making sure to really scrub this area as the brushes are about the right size for this and it actually loosens up a lot of buildup that was in there. Now I remove the third valve slide, making sure to get a lot of the water in there as I scrub this. I give it a thorough scrubbing with this brush, making sure to get into the legs and in between the legs, and this part is good to go. Now I'm gonna check if the soap has loosened up any of the stuck slides. It doesn't appear that the tuning slide has. The second valve slide comes out very easily, and then I wash this up with that same brush, making sure to get lots of water in there and brushing in between all of the spots. Now I pull the first valve slide, which to my surprise does come out, which will save me more work in the shop later. Getting it out here with the soap and water is much easier. I go through the same process of washing this thoroughly, making sure to use lots of the water and making sure soap gets into all of the spaces I use the brush. Now I check the valve caps and it seems that only the first one is coming loose. After I give that a quick cleanup, I try again on the other two valve caps and they definitely don't seem to be coming off right now, so I'll have to use other methods in the shop to get those off. All that's left is to thoroughly clean the rest of the trumpet with this valve brush and make sure to get it in to all of the slide legs and the valves themselves. I also use it on the outside of the trumpet to try to break up some of that lime and calcium buildup. As you can see, the bath did improve the overall cosmetic condition just a little bit, but luckily this stuff doesn't affect the playability of the horn, so that will be our main focus for this video series, is getting this back into playing condition and not necessarily cosmetically perfect condition. So that's the condition of the horn that was donated by a fellow teacher. It's still in decent shape, Overall, uh, it's definitely repairable and we can get this back to a kid, but there are some things in the next part that will need more persuasion, like this tuning slide and these valve caps will need probably some heat uh, and maybe even some unsoldering, depending on how stuck these are. So we'll get to that in the next video. And in the meantime, if you want to be notified when I post more videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for stopping by the shop.